Hey and howdy there. Uh, a few days ago I saw The Avengers uh, in 3D um, and I thought it was uh, a spectacular spectacle. Um, I have no problems giving this a 9 uh, though <sighs> there's no way around it. The time I had in the theater the experience was a 10. You know, a solid 10. Uh, I thought this was mind-blowing. Um, it uh, one of the best times I've ever had in a theater. Uh, it was amazingly fun. Um, the only uh, film that I can compare it to in terms of experience and just general impact uh, on the audience and impact on me sitting there watching it uh, would be the first Matrix film. Uh, you know, I saw the first Matrix film. I. I don't think I was alone. I had to have been with somebody. Uh, I mean, I have a guess, but I, I can't remember who I saw. Because I saw The Matrix like three, maybe four times in the theater. And I, I know that I was with people most of the time. Anyway, uh, after seeing The Matrix for the first time, just sitting there, just, just trying to absorb something new uh, and something different that I had seen that's how I felt after the Avengers had ended um, just like I had seen the progression of entertainment uh, it uh, definitely uh, sets a bar for uh, blockbuster entertainment in terms of special effects uh, intelligence storytelling humor um, I mean, it's got everything you would want in a big summer blockbuster. Um, again, uh, so much of this uh, comes from just uh, having an amazing time in the theater. Uh, I'll have to say that Dark Knight Rises, which I keep wanting to call Batman Rises because I feel it would be a much better title. Um, Batman Rises will have to be one of the greatest films of the year uh, and of the decade to beat the Avengers. I mean, if it's somehow going to be a better blockbuster, a better film than the Avengers, uh, then it's going to be a fucking amazing film. Uh, because I really, really love the Avengers. And again, it's like coming out in early May. And how are you going to follow it? How are you going to follow it? Uh, you know, it just has killed the summer. Uh, again, I, <laughs> I have no expectations for Batman anymore. Because there's... How could it be better? How could it be more fun? Um, you know, I, it will definitely be different in tone. But how could it be better? I don't know. So, the Avengers has killed the summer for me. Uh, and I'm sure all these studios are just totally pissed that, you know, the product they have is not going to be able to compete. So, uh, again, The Avengers has killed the summer. Um, wow. Okay. Again, I, I always want to feel like I want to talk more about the theatrical experience. Um, uh, I'll, try not, I'll try to save it for the end. The Avengers is about uh, a team of superheroes uh, combine, binding together uh, to... Uh, guard the world, uh, protect the world from an invading uh, alien force uh, led by uh, Thor, Thor's brother, uh, Loki. Um, from, again, this is uh, basically a sequel to all of the Marvel Studio films so far. Uh, Captain America, Thor, Iron Man films, the Hulk films. Um, have there been any others? Uh, anyway... Uh, so these are characters we're supposed to have known from previous films uh, and, you know, setting up uh, the story that way. Uh, so these are characters we're familiar with. We also see characters from other, you know, movies. Um, or, you know, the supporting characters, I mean. Uh, so, okay. Uh, yeah. So Loki tries to take over the world. Uh, the Avengers must you know, at first, learn to work together, and then to defeat Loki. Um, stars, uh, a lot of people, uh, Robert Downey Jr., Chris Hemsworth, 
um, Samuel L. Jackson, Mark Ruffalo, uh, Scarlett Johansson, Jeremy Renner, um, uh, who am I lead? Chris Evans, um, Gwyneth Paltrow, uh, Stellan Stagarsgaard, um, you know, that's just about it. It's just, it's got a huge cast. Um, Tom Riddleston, Tom Riddleston plays Loki. Uh, he's great. Um, it's uh, written by Joss Whedon and, oh, I wanted to remember his name, Isaac somebody? So, I can't remember. Uh, and directed uh, by Joss Whedon. Um, I'd say that Joss Whedon is the star of the show here. Uh, his, you know, screenplay is, is, is great. It gives every character uh, an opportunity to shine. It also uh, is very well directed. I thought it looked very much like a comic book. Uh, I thought it was like framed very much like a comic book. Um, at times it looked like, you know, uh, flipping pages of a comic book and seeing it like uh, from panel to panel. Uh, it, it really felt that way. Um, again, every character gets uh, their moment to shine in terms of, you know, being human and in action, uh, you know, in the spectacular way and the not-so-spectacular way. Um, it, I, I just, uh, I, I love the movie. I, I thought it was hilarious. Um, in fact, I told myself after seeing this that I'm going to see this three times in the theater. Uh, so I've seen it once, uh, you know, which was in 3D. I don't usually see three uh, films in 3D. Um, I did here just because that's what was available to me. Uh, I won't see it in 3D again I, just because, um, I don't know, my eyes were fucking with me a little bit. Uh, I didn't know if it's just from having my contacts in all day uh, or the 3D, whatever. Um, it's just a pain in the ass. And even, like, sometimes I'm afraid to take the 3D glasses off just because they say it takes your eyes time to adjust. Um, so I hate, like, taking them off and, like, having my eyes have to readjust. But I did a little bit, and it just amazes me the difference in color uh, from just taking off the glasses and how much brighter the film is. Uh, so I definitely will see The Avengers again, and I definitely will see it in 2D. Um, because I just want to see those bright, crisp colors. Um, though, personally, I thought the 3D uh, was kind of phenomenal uh, and just looked rather flawless. I didn't, you know, uh, I can't say that I, I felt it added much, but it, it definitely looked amazing. Um, I, uh, the special effects, uh, I, I mean, maybe they're not groundbreaking. They definitely seem groundbreaking. Uh, I mean, it looked... You know, like there were no lines. Uh, I don't know how else to describe that. You know, sometimes when you're watching a, uh, a CGI heavy film uh, that also, you know, has live action in it, sometimes you can definitely tell that there is, uh, you know, that it's CGI, that it's, you know, separate from what's actually going on. Here, uh, it did not really seem like that much at all. Uh, those lines that I'm talking about were just totally gone. I mean, everything looked like it was happening on the same plane. Uh, perhaps that's disguised more by the 3D, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, I thought the special effects were just jaw-dropping. Um, there, uh, there were a few times in this film when, you know, I said out loud, I was like, wow, uh, wow, because I just couldn't believe it. Um, Again, that's why I, I am so, you know, kind of afraid that my rating will be biased just because the theatrical experience of this was just amazing. Uh, again, I don't really think I've had an experience like it. Uh, I saw this at midnight, uh, opening night, the first showing. Um, the, it was sold out, as you can imagine. A uh, young crowd, uh, a fanboy crowd, if you will. Um, I, I've never seen... Uh, you know, a beach ball, uh, you know, an inflatable beach ball. They they had one of those, like, bounding around the theater. 
I've never seen that before. That was something entirely new to me. Uh, you know, usually I think that's for a concert, uh, but here it was in a movie theater. Um, so it had a concert-like atmosphere, uh, technically. Um, it, I mean, it was there was just this palpable energy in the room. Um, also, the highlight of the evening for me was a uh, group of hot chicks showed up uh, dressed as the Avengers. So that was fantastic. They sat in the very, very front row <clears throat> and they uh, posed for pictures. Uh, it, <laughs> none of the pictures I took uh, really turned out at all. But again, um, they all, you know, hot chicks, all of them. But you've got uh, hot chick Captain America, hot chick Thor, uh, hot chick Hawkeye. Um, uh, there was no hot chick Hulk, uh, but uh, who am I leaving out? There was also uh, Black Widow and uh, God, who did I leave out? Iron Man. She that she had the best outfit. She had the best outfit. I don't know. Uh, she couldn't have been comfortable, but she looked amazing. Um, though Thor was also looking rather hot too. Uh, so the uh, the hot chick Avenger team really just made the night uh, they really just stopped the they came in a little bit late they showed up fashionably late well let's be honest they knew what they were doing uh, but they you know waltzed in and they were looking amazing in their costumes and hot you know uh, and just the place went nuts the place went nuts and so that it was fun uh, during the film uh, again, I've never had an audience react more euphorically. Um, it, it was just tons of cheering, tons of laughing. Uh, again, I I try not to be irritated by anything, just because uh, you know, try to leave my old man self at home. But uh, you know, there was a, the movie is very funny. Um, some say uh, too funny, but. Uh, you know, there's a joke, and the audience, uh, or something funny happens, and the audience, you know, erupts. But then there's something else. You know, some uh, another character uh, says another line, um, something more subtle, and sometimes that line can even be funnier. Uh, I missed a lot of those lines because the audience was so loud and, uh, you know, uh, exuberant that... Uh, you know, they would cheer and scream and laugh at the funny stuff and the amazing stuff, but then something else would happen and nobody heard it. You know, nobody heard it. Uh, so it will be essential for me to see this a second time just so I can hear everything. Um, uh, I, I've never had just a more crowd pleasing uh, experience. I mean, the place went nuts. I myself am not much of a clapper, um, meaning that, you know, when something happens in the movie, you applaud spontaneously. Uh, I'm not into that really, but I did that twice um, because I, what else can you do? Uh, it deserves a round of applause, uh, you know, during the film. Um, again, my jaw hit the floor probably you know twice at least uh, you know maybe three times and I, I did like exclaim like whoa wow uh, you know I, my mind was blown at a couple opportunities and I will have to say that it's due to the star of the show and that's the Hulk uh, Hulk steals the show, and I was waiting so long for that to happen because of, out of all the Avengers, uh, the Hulk was my favorite. Um, the Hulk is like the book. I didn't read a lot of the Hulk, but I read the Hulk here and there. Um, I always enjoyed the storylines for the Hulk. Um, and so I enjoyed the Ang Lee Hulk film better than the uh, whoever did the second. I, I, I like Hulk better than The Incredible Hulk. Uh, I didn't like Incredible Hulk too much at all. Um, and I didn't love Hulk, but I, I liked it better and I enjoyed it. Uh, here, it's, they nail the Hulk. They nail him. Um, I, thought, I thought it was, I, he was the best part. He's the star of the show. He stole the show. 
Uh, and he had the best moments, I thought. He had the, the most jaw-dropping moments. Um, everything about the film, technically, I thought was fantastic. Uh, the costumes are outstanding. Uh, the special effects, outstanding. Um, set design, character design, uh, Every, you know, all, any design, uh, the sound design, the sound effects, just everything technically outstanding. Um, you know, there, I can't think of many flaws at all. Uh, again, the special effects looked seamless. You know, I really don't think I've seen special effects like that. They were just, it was just gorgeous and bright and beautiful. Uh, you know, sometimes when it's CGI heavy. They hide it in night or, or bad weather. Here it's just like out in, you know, again, noonday New York. Uh, so it's, I, you know, it, it's a beautiful film. Beautiful film and just an amazing time in the theater. Uh, if I had anything to detract, uh, I don't know what it would be. Again, I, I thought, uh, and I wish that I hadn't read this, but um, someone said that it was too funny, that it was too funny, and I will admit that I did not expect to be laughing as much as I did, uh, though, you know, it's not a bad thing, really, uh, but they said that whenever you know, you would want to feel something for the character, you know, that uh, they, you know, identify with them, like, okay, that's like me. Uh, as soon as you thought they would have some heart uh, and show some real depth, instead, they go for the cheap shot and they go for the laugh. And instead for, you know, um, touching your heart or, you know, making some kind of artistic statement or just being more down to earth and human they they take the easy way out and I can't call making people uh, an entire theater of people laugh easy but uh, they take the easy way out and go for the cheap laugh uh, instead of the heart tugging moment um, whatever I mean yeah okay I could see that I, I think that's a valid point um, but I don't necessarily agree with it and uh, again what's wrong with going to the theaters and having a blast and having a blast um, I don't really know what else to say uh, all the acting is great um, all of the uh, characters have their own little moments uh, I mean every character really has their own little moments um, maybe some of the uh, females other than uh, Black Widow are a little underwritten. Um, I heard one lady say that Gwyneth Paltrow's character uh, was sexist. Um, that she was just like this hot secretary and, and whatever. But she's not in it much at all, so I don't know what they were complaining about. Um, so, I don't really know what else to say. I had a, just an unbelievable time watching this film. Uh, can't wait to watch it again. I want to see it at least two more times. Um, and again, I think it's killed the summer. I don't see how, how there will be a more, a more enjoyable summer flick uh, this year. Uh, I, I, I have to thank the Avengers because I have, now I have zero expectation for Batman Rises. Um, because I don't see how it could beat it. Uh, and so now I have no expectations, which will probably make Batman all the better. So thank you, Avengers, for doing that. Um, so this, the very first showing of the Avengers, uh, midnight Friday, um, sold out crowd, young crowd, exuberant crowd, I'm going to have to give it a 10. You know, it, it was a, uh, it's exactly why you go to the movies. It's exactly why you go to the movies. So there you go. Uh, that's the Avengers, and it's awesomely amazing. Uh, it's, and it's a 10. So thank you very much.